In this video, we're going to look um, on the topic circle theorem and the question that you are supposed to know how to answer. We're going to see different properties and how to answer questions when you are told to state the reasons. And something I need to remind you when you are told to state the reasons, basically what you are told to do there is to state the property that you have used in order to answer that particular question. So, now in this area here, we are told that um, given that ABCD is a quadrilateral. Or is the center of the circle, or is the center of the circle and angle AEC is 56 degrees. So this angle is 56 degrees. So can be able to draw a line like that. So which means that this chord AC is the one that is subtending this angle 56 degrees. We are supposed to find different angles here and then we give reasons as to why we have chosen those values now we are supposed to find angle a d c where is this angle a d c this angle is at this particular point so if you can look at this angle a c d you realize that this angle a c d is actually also originating from this chord so originating from the same chord ac so meaning that if this is 56 angle subtended angle subtended by the same chord are always equal so this one is also 56 degrees so we will say this is equal to 56 degrees reason angles subtended by the same chord are equal that's the reason and that's the property we used in order to say the answer is 56 degrees so once we have identified this angle is 56 degrees i believe we remember angle at the center and angle at the circumference so meaning angle at this particular point is two times the angle that we have here so meaning this is going to be 112 degrees. So angle A or C is 112 degrees, but we are told to find reflex of that. So we are going to find the angle on this other side. So we are going to say angle A or C is going to be 360 degrees minus 112 degrees so if we subtract this we are going to get eight at this point and then five we have four and then we have 248 degrees and the reason we have said that is angle at a point add up to angle at a point add up to 360 degrees whenever you are stating the reasons what you're going to state is the immediate reason that enabled you to get that answer for instance we got 56 here then to get this angle down here we said is times two so angle at the center is two times the angle at the circumference but we are not going to state that reason because the immediate uh, property that enabled us to get this angle that we had asked is angle at a point add up to 300 and 60 degrees so the next one is angle dao where is that dao so we are working out this angle at this particular point so how are we going to work out this angle at this point here in order to find this angle i can see that um if we happen to know if we happen to know this angle at this particular point yes we can get this angle at this particular point this angle is going to be what this angle that i've shaded here 
this angle is going to be let me just this is going to be 180 minus 112 so that we are going to get 8 at this point 768 so um these base angles are going to give us 68 so divide by 2 we are going to get 34 34 degrees so this angle will be 34 degrees and this angle will be 34 degrees but in this question also we were told that in this question in this question we were told that um, we are told that this part and this part are equal you are told that da or ad and cd are equal so meaning base angles of this triangle d a c are equal so meaning how can we get the base angles this is going to be 180 degrees so let me just uh, <coughs> 180 degrees minus 56 degrees so this is going to be 4 this is going to be 2 124 if we divide 124 by 2 we are going to get 62 degrees so me so angle dao is going to be 62 degrees minus 34 degrees so that let us use our calculator to get that this is uh, 62 minus 34 degrees which is going to translate to 28 degrees this angle is going to be 28 degrees so the angle dao where is it dao so this angle dao is going to be 28 degrees because we say the all of this angle is 62 degrees minus 34 degrees we are going to remain with this particular angle at this particular point so that's how you are going to go about that now next we are finding angle abc angle abc where is it angle abc is down here so which means this one is actually straightforward because you are just using angle properties of uh, a cyclic quadrilateral so opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees so this is 180 degrees minus 56 degrees 180 degrees minus 56 degrees so if we work out this we are going to get our value being this is 4 124 degrees as the final answer at this particular point so angle dao is going to be 62 degrees minus 34 degrees so that let us use our calculator to get that this is uh, 62 minus 34 degrees which is going to translate to 28 degrees this angle is going to be 28 degrees so the angle dao where is it dao so this angle dao is going to be 28 degrees because we say the all of this angle is 62 degrees minus 34 degrees we are going to remain with this particular angle at this particular point so that's how you are going to go about that now next we are finding angle abc angle abc where is it angle abc is down here so which means this one is actually straightforward because you are just using angle properties of uh, a cyclic quadrilateral so opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral then we need to find this angle also angle abc angle a b c so we are finding this angle at this point this angle is uh, opposite to this because a b c d is a quadrilateral so the opposite angles of um, a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 so meaning that uh, this angle is going to be 180 minus 56 degrees and that's going to translate to 100 and 
24 degrees. And the reason we're going to say opposite angles of a cyclic would be lateral add up to 180 degrees. So anytime you are given question to do with uh, angle properties, there are different angle properties they will test you. The first one is angle at the center is two times angle at the circumference. So this angle, if this angle is x, this one is 2x. This one of the property you will be tested. Another property they will test you of uh, angles or circle theorem is uh, angles subtended by the same code. If you have this angle here and there is another code being subtended on the other end here, if this is x, this is also going to be x. So long as they are in the same segment. You will also be tested on um, angles subtended by the diameter. A diameter subtends a right angle on the circumference of a circle. So, so long as this is a diameter that passes through the center O, the angle that diameter is going to form on the circumference is going to be 90 degrees. Finally, we also, we also saw that if you are having a cyclic quadrilateral, if you are having a cyclic quadrilateral, like this one, you have a circle, and then there is a, a, fig, a four sided figure, and there is a four sided figure inside here. So if this is 30 degrees, 130 degrees, this other angle will be 50 degrees because opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral must add up to 180. So, what usually happens in, in most of the question is that all these properties are brought together in one question so that you can be able to uh, visualize and come up with a uh, different section. For instance, you see, for if uh, we are talking of this property number one, you can see it inside here in triangle A, C, D. You, you can see there is angle at the center and angle at the circumference. If we are talking about this second property here, you can see now we have a quadrilateral D, A, B, C. You can see there is this opposite angle on the other side. So it's you to be able to uh, understand these properties and then whenever you are given a question, you will be in a position to uh, pick them. So there is an, another property I need to mention. When you have uh, a tangent to a circle, and then there is a chord form here. So if you have an angle outside here, the ang there is an angle that chord subtends inside the circle. So if this angle is 60 degrees, this angle is also 60 degrees. At the same time, if this angle at this particular point is say 70 degrees then this angle in the alternate segment is 70 degrees so you need to also understand this angle in alternate segments this is the angle formed by the tangent and the chord this angle that is outside here is equal to the angle formed by this chord in the other uh, segment. That's why we say angles in alternate segments are also equal. So make sure you have a good understanding on circle theorem because circle theorem is uh, a question that you must uh, be ready to perform in your exam. Beautiful circle like this. Now, for instance, we are given this question. We're supposed to find this angle, uh, DCB. We also find angle ADO. So we are given that this angle at this particular point is 60 degrees. So we know that ABF is a tangent. ABF is a tangent. And we say that angles subtended in alternate segments are equal so like this one here is going to be equal like this so if we are talking of uh, this tangent 
we can draw a line straight like that all the way to B. So which will mean that this angle that we have at this particular point in the alternate segment is going to be this angle here. So the all of this is going to be 60 degrees. So how are we going to find this angle here? What do you think? What, how are we going to find this? Um, remember, we also have angle at the center and also angle at the circumference. Angle at the center, angle at the center is 2 times angle at the circumference. So meaning if this is 40 degrees, this angle here is going to be 80 degrees. So since this is the center, then this and this are equal because they represent the radius. So if this is 80, down here is going to be angle on um, angle base angles of a isosceles triangle are equal. So in the process of finding angle ADO, ADO, we are going to follow the following steps. We have said that uh, angle ADB, ADB is equal to 60 degrees because angles angles in alternate segments are equal are equal so that's why we said if this is 60 degrees this all of the all of this angle is also going to be 60 degrees now we are going to say that uh, this angle here which is odb angle ODB is going to be equal to 50 degrees because base and the property we are going to use is base angles of a isosceles triangle are equal because this is 80 degrees it means the sum of the two base angles here are going to be 100 so reason at this point is base angles base angles of isosceles triangle are equal so which will mean that uh, 180 minus 80 divided by 2 that's the why we have 50 so this angle is actually 50 degrees and also this one is 50 degrees so how will we find angle a d o angle a d o is going to be 60 degrees minus 50 degrees because the whole of this angle is 60 degrees and this uh, angle down here is 50 so then the angle a d o is going to be equivalent to 10 degrees this is 10 degrees this angle that we have at this particular point is 10 degrees Another angle that we are asked to find is angle C. This one is straightforward. We are going to use this property at this point. We, are, we shall say angle DCB is going to, to be equal to 140 degrees. Opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral. add up to 180 degrees so uh, that's also what you ought to have considered and if you found value from this video consider subscribing so that when we be uploading more series on different questions that you need to prepare on you'll be notified see you look how are you going to find m and how can you be able to find n the most important thing is to ensure that you know the properties yeah so to begin here yeah, let's look at uh, this particular angle here we have angle at the center and also we have the angle at the circumference the relationship is angle at the center and the angle at the circumference are related in that the angle at the circumference is a half the angle at the center so if we want to find this angle here means we can be able to divide 
124 by 2 and that gives us 62 degrees let us also look at um how can we find n yeah n and m are related because they are in opposite side of a cyclic quadrilateral because if you look at p r s and t that is a, a cyclic quadrilateral a cyclic quadrilateral is a quadrilateral that is inside a circle inscribed in a circle so if you add n and m you have to get 180 degrees and already we have m as 62 so you can be able to work out that by saying m plus n equals to 180 then we can be able to subtract and get our value as 118 degrees now for you to do well in circle theorem the most important thing to know is the properties of uh, angles in circle opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral angle subtended at the center and angles subtended at the circumference you need to know alternate angles and all those we are going to discuss in this particular video if you are getting value remember to subscribe and also leave a comment on the topic that you ought to you feel like that uh, or to be prepared so that you can be able to prepare well let's move on to the next question here find the size of angle qpo how will we get qpo but remember for us to get qpo there's some information we have op and oq are the radius so we have this as isosceles triangle pqo so if this angle Q is X, angle P also is X. But can we be able to find this angle here? Yes, we can. Because we have uh, a straight line S or Q, and we have 124. There, the remaining angle is going to be 180 minus 24, and that is going to be 56 degrees. Then now, since that's an isosceles triangle, we can be able to find X and say, divide by 2 and that is going to be 62 degrees now in this diagram if you look at it carefully we are given angle c 48 degrees then the line e or b passes through the center and it meets the tangent a b c so a line from the from the center to the tangent they form they meet at 90 degrees and that is the concept we are going to use in order to find angle o so we shall use that information there to find this angle and that's going to be 90 plus 48 which is uh, 138 we subtract from 180 we get 42 degrees so this angle here is 42 degrees then this 42 is going to enable us work out some angle because we are supposed to find the size of angle BFE so how can we be able to find DFE we are going to use angle 42 to get this angle here this is the angle we are finding DFE but in order to get it we need this angle at this point so to get this what will we do that will be 180 minus 42 and that is going to give us uh, 138 degrees so 138 and angle f are related angle at the center and angle the circumference so uh angle o which is 138 is twice angle f so we can be in order to get f we can divide 138 by 2 and that's going to be 69 degrees so we were supposed to give reasons at each of uh, the steps but uh, i believe i've mentioned and you understand exactly what's supposed to be done question three you expect also to understand that angles subtended by the same code are equal for instance code de subtend angle g and also subtend angle f so 42 at g is also the same angle at f so this is also 42 because angles obtained by the same code are equal. We're supposed to calculate the size of angle DFG. Give reason for each stage of your working. So let us first also look at this. This is the diameter. EOG is a diameter. And the diameter subtends 
90 degrees on the circumference so meaning efg is 90 degrees then if the whole of efg is 90 and the part of uh, that angle is 42 the remaining angle here can be obtained because we can say 90 minus 42 which is going to be 48 so we have this 48 and if you look at bg is a code that subtend angle 48 at f and that's the same same code subtending angle e also this point will be 40 degrees and then we need to try to check what is the question really asking us because the first place you can try to fill in some angles using the available given angles and the properties you know in order to go now and check what the question is asking you which angle is asking you to find let's find the the angle that we expected here calculate the size of angle d f g d f g we had already gotten it and that is 48 degrees so we are supposed to write the steps and then give the reasons we said 42 because we said angles subtended by the same code are equal then we went ahead to find angle efg uh, which is 90 because the diameter subtended right angle uh, the circumference and then uh, let us uh, remind you to subscribe as a prof learner so that in time i'm going to upload future videos will be in a position to to work them out right we had answered this question let's go down i think at that Let's go straight so yeah we had answered this I believe you followed through how to answer that one now we were at this point we say this 42 because angles obtained by the same code are equal this is 90 because angles obtained the diameter by 90 degrees then this other is 48 and that's the angle we were supposed to find then you are supposed to show each of the stages and then at the same time write the reason at each of your steps that you followed so to find efg we say it's 90 and subtended by the diameter is the right angle on the circumference thereafter we say dfg is 90 minus 42 which is going to give us 48 so let's move this down so that we can be able to arrange our work where the examiner can be able to mark it so the next question here we are told that a b c and d are points on this circle center o a o c is the diameter to the circle so um, let us see that uh, if this is a uh, 55 degrees and a o c being a diameter then it means angle B, the whole of it is going to be 90 degrees because the diameter subtends the right angle. So those are some of the properties that you have to know. Then once we have 55, we have 90, we'll be in the position of finding this angle also. And this means this is going to be 180 minus 145, and that's going to be 35 degrees because AB subtend angle d and also subtend angle c so this 35 this is also must be 35 degrees so can we check and see the angle that we are asked to find work out the size of angle a d b a d b already we have found it then let's see uh we, we can be able to move this down here and uh, write the reason angle in a triangle add up to 180 that's the first concept we used and we said also um, uh, try angle ADB is 35 because angles subtended by the same code are equal. So whenever you are asked the question, look at the code we have here, AB. That AB is the one that is forming angle C and is the same code where D is originating from. 
So for you to effectively answer questions to do with uh, circle theorem, uh, the properties must be very um, uh, fresh in your mind. Question five, P, Q, R, and S are points of the circle with center O. P, S is the diameter to the circle. And then we are told that angle, this angle here, is 136 and we can see angle Q and angle S are opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral meaning angle Q plus angle S should give you 180 that's the property we shall use at that point then we shall uh, say this is X if that's X we can be able to subtract and get the angle as 44 degrees so if this is 44 degrees we can be able go, to go ahead and um, write the property we used or the reason because anytime you are asked to state the reason don't explain anything just give the property you used in order to get that angle and now we have pos pos is a diameter then it subtends 90 degrees at point r so we can be able to find this angle here so rps is going to be equal to 180 minus 44 plus 90 degrees so meaning we are going to get the answer 46 degrees and the property we used is that angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees let me move it here so that we can be able to say and be able to write the reason and write 46 now the next part that and the next uh, property we have not mentioned from the previous que uh, question is here we are told that ABC I point on a circle, MN is the tangent to the circle at C. Then we are given here, you can see PCN, BCN is 78 degrees. So this is an angle formed by the chord and the tangent, but there is an angle here, A, which is in another segment. So we have the minor segment and the major segment. So 78 is in alternate segment with B. So this also must be 78 degrees. But if you look at ABC triangle, is an isosceles triangle whose base angles are equal. So the property we have used to say this 78 degrees is that angles in an alternate segment are equal. Then here we have 78 because base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. Oh, now all those are the concepts that you ought to remember because now we have the base angles of this isosceles triangle which I usually call this useless triangle are being equal. We can be able to make it useful and find the two angles useful. We have to make use of the two angles and then find angle B which is going to be angles in a triangle add up to 180. So meaning we're going to add 78 plus 78 and subtract the answer we get from 180 degrees in order to get this angle B. Then we can be able to transfer that work down here just to make the examiner happy. And uh, we can more now um, mention a few things yes we are at this particular point a b c and d are points on the circle i believe you remember the concept of chords because this one also the concept that uh, you must know if you know circle theorem understand the concept of chords so that you can be able to garner all the marks in this section a b C and D are points on a circle with A, B, P, and D, C, P, which are straight lines. We are given information, and then we are going to form an equation that can enable you to work out such equation. Remember, when you, whenever you are doing that, you are going to multiply different sections of the code that uh, are intersecting externally uh, in order to find the missing part, D, C. So we are going to say AP times BP equals to DP times CP. And then we use the value that I provided. We can let DC to be X. And then we can now say AP, which is going to be 30 
times 14 should be equal to x plus 12 because from d to p is going to be this section x plus the external part 12 then times 12 then we can be able to now make x the subject of the formula in order to solve this equation let's move it here and then try to manipulate this uh, in order to get the value of x as 23 degrees so x is 23 degrees other questions that you expect are internally intersecting chords for instance you are given a b c and d intersecting at x the formula to use here is ax times xb equals to cx times xd this is very important you look at it as your life as if your life depends on it moving to the next concept that you can be text, uh, um, tested is uh, a chord and a tangent so if we are given the tangent and the chord here where the tangent is uh, dc then we can say the tangent squared equals to ac times cb or rather bc and remember to have that also in mind so that you can be able to work any of such kind of a question P, Q, R are points on the circle center O. T, R, V is the tangent to the circle at R. So, you are told that uh, the reflex angle P, O, R is 238 degrees. And we have the angle that is formed by the chord Q, R and the tangent T, R, V is 60 degrees. And when I do such a, I see such a question with an external angle um, in alternate segment, I, I can, I, I, if I need to use that 60 degrees, I have to join a PR. Um, but let us all also find the angle below O so that we can, because that one, uh, we can be able to find this angle from 360, right? Maybe 360 minus uh, this, 138 which is going to give us 122 degrees. So this angle is 122. Then the angle Q at the top there is going to be half of this eh? so that uh, we can be able to get it and that's 61 degrees. We are happy with that. And next we can be able to use this angle by joining the chord here. So if this is 60 degrees, the whole of this angle is also 60 degrees. The whole of it eh? is 60 degrees. So this being an isosceles triangle, in the P O R, we can be able to find the base angles 180 minus 122. The answer we get to divide by two will be the value of each of uh, these small angles that we have here, which is quite interesting. Yeah, so this is going to be 29 and 29 degrees. Now, how can we get this part? Because the all of it was 60 degrees, and the section on the other side is 29 degrees. Then to get that small angle remaining as QPO, it will be 60 minus 29 degrees, which is going to give us 31 degrees. This part is 31 degrees. Yes, you're supposed to write all the steps and all the stages you followed in order to find these angles, and exactly that's what we're going to do in this part. We are almost coming to the end of this tutorial. If uh, you have found value, and basically, I've taken you through all the possible questions that you can be tested as far as a theorem is concerned. Uh, the needful that you can do is just to like, subscribe, and also leave a comment below on the topic that you feel that uh, you need a tutorial on as you prepare for your exam. I wish you all the best. See you in the next video.